Hi, it's Chris Bumbray, JoeBlow.com. Hi. 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 Um, so Anna, my first question is for you. There's this great kind of late reveal between you and, and Dave Bautista in the movie that I think really kind of hints mm. at this amazing rich history for the two characters. And I was just wondering, because I know that Zach tends to bring his, his actors and performers in and helps them with create the character. And I was just wondering kind of what you brought to the role and if that was something that was really important to you, kind of giving this character this real life beyond the film, I thought. Um, yeah, I, I, that, I feel that's in all the characters in the movie, you know, we are all there for uh, personal reasons and sentimental reasons. Um, so I, I did, I did love that um, the romantic part of kind of like of my character because um, I think I'm like that and uh, I just try to put that in in, in there and uh, I thought that was that was great to to have like, that role. So just following up actually with uh, with with Tig, um, I guess this is your first big action movie, right? But you really fit into the into the genre. Was it exciting for you to take on something so different like this? It was. Um, it was extraordinarily exciting. Um, I, I've had a, a taste of it with, I have a recurring role on Star Trek. And so there's a hint of it in there, but this was a whole different level. I mean, Star Trek, I might, um, there might be an explosion or we might be avoiding a, you know, some sort of meteor. And then I jump onto a mattress and that's the extent of my um, <laughs> action but um you, know, you go fly ahead. into the explosion in this one I think you're exactly yeah it's very different but I, I i loved it and i of course am open to more if anyone will have me i i hope they do you were super cool and <clears throat> ella i have to say you're kind of like the moral center of the film too in a movie like this, I, I, it always helps to have a character I think that the audience can relate to. Did you feel that your character in, in a lot of ways was kind of that moral center and the person that does ground the movie to some degree? Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't know about that, but I do think, I do agree with you. Like it, it's almost like she is the audience's eyes into this world that seems quite unattainable and unachievable. Like all of these characters are so badass and cool. And um, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, Kate. No, you're not. pretty cool. <laughs> and she's cool, but she's not. She's not like made of superhero stuff, you know. Like the same yeah. way that like Dave Batista or, or yeah. um, the Coyote are. They just seem so cool. But Kate's a little bit more like <laughs> like a normal person. <laughs> um, so I do kind of see what you mean. Um, but yeah, she she's she's definitely got a strong head on her and a good set of morals. And Nora, I have to ask, I, I thought your character was one of the coolest in the movie. Um, I really liked Thank though you. the kind of moral ambiguity that you had in the film, you know, where you're good, but like also willing to kind of cross these lines. And I was just wondering also kind of how you how you developed your part because I felt it went to some really different places than I was expecting. Yeah, I mean, she's a, she's a bit of an anti-hero. She's absolutely not perfect. Uh, she she makes mistakes like uh, every human being, um, um, and she she starts off kind of a an isolated human being, and uh, she will learn how to work with with the team. And uh, there's a real arc to the character. She really learns a lot of things along the way. Well, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Chris.